In a previous video, I demonstrated how to take one of these Grove four-digit uh, LED displays, and this one is actually a clone, and add an extra 16 LEDs as well as 16 buttons. This is because this is based on a TM1637 uh, driver chip that in this module had uh, pins that were left unused and I just soldered these extra wires to them to put them into use. Uh, so this is capable of driving six digits, in other words 16 extra LEDs, and it can also do a scan of an 8x2 matrix of buttons, hence you can have it sense which buttons I'm pressing. However, it can only sense one press at a time. You can't like press two of them and expect it to distinguish which buttons are being pressed all at once. Now, this is useful for use in microcontroller applications because it only requires four wires uh, pos positive voltage power, ground, um, data and clock. Now those names are similar to I2C, however this is not an I2C device. There's no address. You can't like uh, use this as a bus and place several of these on the same wires. This is, uh, these wires are now used up by this module. You can't put any more modules on these same wires. Um, but it's it's I squared C uh, like protocol. It does use a protocol similar to it. It just doesn't have any address on it. I've recently been looking at another LED driver IC, one that is found in a number of Adafruit LED displays. This one's an eight by eight LED display, and the chip that they use for those purposes is Holtec HT16K33, HT16K33 LED driver that is also capable of key scanning. And this one can do 16 by 8 LEDs and I think it can also do, uh, scan 13 by 3 um, buttons, a button matrix of 3 rows and 13 buttons each. Adafruit sell LED displays in a number of different sizes, so this is a smaller matrix, 8 by 8 matrix, and they would have difficulty um, fitting this chip as a backpack to this tiny matrix, but fortunately Holtec provide their driver chip in a number of different form factors. It has the same IC identifier, which is still called an HT16K33. However, unlike this one, which can do 16 by 8 LED matrix, this one um, I think can go up to 8 by 12. And I believe it, it's, it can also do key scanning, but uh, 3 by 10 rather than the 3 by 13 that this one can do. Another difference between the two form factors is the number of jumpers on the module. So the full-sized Holtec chip, um, there are three jumper positions. The, these are for selecting the I squared C address so that if you have like two of these on the same bus, you would want, typically want to um, set the jumpers differently so that the master is able to select, um, to output different things to different displays and they can share the same I2C bus. Uh, this one only has two jumpers, so this one you can only choose um, one out of four different addresses, whereas these are one out of eight different addresses. I think there's even a smaller version of this, which is only capable of 8x8. I don't, I don't have an example here, but I'm not sure whether that one you can even set the address. 
Now these Adafruit fruit modules were designed to be used by any microcontroller that has, supports I squared C, um, most popular example of which is the Arduino. But Adafruits have their own feathers, and what I've been using recently is a tiny Pico, which last month uh, at Crowd Supply, their, their Crowd Supply campaign was successfully delivered. And this comes with it's an ESP32 with MicroPython pre installed. Now, unlike with the Arduino ID, where I have to Every time I make a mistake or I conduct an experiment, I have to wait for sometimes a lengthy compile. Uh, with the MicroPython, I'm using uh, the REPL read, evaluate, print loop, and hence I can play around with I squared C and these I squared C displays, uh, not having to wait for compilation between all my various trials. In addition to these LED matrices, um, Adafruit also sell um, seven segment displays uh, as well as, a, as this alphanumeric display, 14 segment. Now each alphanumeric character, if you count the decimal point, has 15 LEDs and with only four of these I think it's well under half the capacity of the HT uh, 16K33 chip, which can do um, 8 by 16 so I could possibly add another four alphanumeric characters to this same display. Um, however, the modification I'd like to try is to add a keypad. Um, can I add buttons in, and have the uh, Tiny Pico read them? in much the same way that I did with the Glow 4 digit um, TM1637. This is a 14 segment 4 character display that I bought off the internet. It seems to be a clone of that Adaf same Adafruit module. It certainly uses the same uh, LED driver chip. And I believe the PCB layout is also identical to the Adafruit module. Now, the, according to the data sheet for the HT16K33, in order to support the key scanning feature, I need to add a number of diodes. Um, now if I want to have all three columns being scanned, I need to add at least three diodes. So here's one here, here, and here. I've soldered to the back of this PCB. And so that takes care of the columns. And since I'm planning to add 12 buttons in a 3x4 matrix, uh, I have the rows also soldered in here. So four of these um, row connectors are broken out. And these all lead to this button matrix. So which comes pre-built. Um, now with just three diodes connected to the board it means that I can only sense I think up to two key presses being pressed at once. Uh, if I needed to support more than that I'd have to build my own button matrix where there'll be a diode for every button. Here it is all hooked up to the tiny Pico and I wrote a MicroPython test script to make use of the I squared C interface and see if it can scan buttons. So the I squared C uh, interface is sending the results back to the tiny Pico and that is then sending commands via the same interface uh, to, the dis to this display. Now when it does the key scan, what's happening is that the Holtec chip is sending a one pulse along one of these three wires. And depending on which of these buttons is pressed, 
a pulse will then return along one of these four clear wires and that's how the whole tech chip figures out which of the buttons are pressed now if this micro python script um, I've programmed in a number of um, commands in order to demonstrate some of the features of the HT16 K33 uh, LED driver. So I could put in like uh, star one zero. So that sets the brightness to the lowest level. Star one five, about a medium. And that sets it to the brightest. Um, there's also some blink modes. That's a fast blink. That's a medium speed blink. And this is a really slow flashing LED display. But in most use cases, you don't want this to blink at all. As you can see, the Holtec HT16K33 is quite a versatile chip, offers quite a lot of useful features all via the I2C interface. And you will, it can come in quite handy, especially for use with microcontrollers where the GPIO is a precious resource. Now this is an ESP32 microcontroller. Uh, if you wanted to use something like the uh, predecessor ESP8266, there are even fewer general purpose I.O. And other microcontrollers such as like the AT Tiny's, uh, this is a chip like this can especially come in handy. Now you can buy these separately uh, with a breakout board that is not really intended for any particular display like uh, Matrix or 14 segment and create your own. Um, so one idea I have is perhaps create a, an LED cube because uh, 64 LEDs could make a 4x4x4 four by four by four cube and with something like this which can drive 16 by 8 I can make it a bicolor cube. And But they're also the key scanning features can also be used. You can make your own style of keyboard for use in whatever application you may have in mind.